pain going through my heart right now. I lost my baby. Dominique Adair and Terrence Doyle hold tight to each other, grieving over their daughter, five-year-old Destiny Adair, killed Thursday night in a fire at this duplex on Mallory Avenue. And it hurt me so bad that that she's gone, because it seemed like it's a dream to me. It seemed like it's still fate. Dominique says she was on the way home from Le Bonner with one of her children and saw fire engines near her home. She called her landlord, who lives on the other side of the duplex. I asked her what was going on, and she told us to hurry up and um, get to the house because my baby was stuck in the fire. There were five children and their grandmother in the duplex when the fire started near the doorway of a bedroom. The landlord telling me Friday she tried her best to help. I could not go fully in there. I tried twice, but the smoke pushed me back out. So in the mix of that, I heard the kids screaming. I heard the grandma, she was already on the floor, passed out almost. Three children and the grandmother escaped, but Destiny and her seven-year-old sister, Terraniah, were trapped in the bedroom till firefighters could locate them. Destiny died, and Terraniah was taken to Labonner in critical condition. Memphis Fire saying the blaze was accidental, caused by an electric problem, but duplex owners deny any electrical issues. Has there been complaints about uh, the electrical system there in the house? No, there's never been no complaints about the electrical. In South Memphis, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3.